Hey guys and girls, Nathan here from the Be Invested headquarters. Uh, today, talking about what is happening to regional areas uh, in Australia, uh, what is happening to coastal areas, what is happening to lifestyle properties. So, um, you know, I did a video uh, prior to this one, it's called a part one, this is part two, uh, called it the, the property market update uh, of September 2020. And, um, you know, talked about what's happening out there in the major cities in Australia, what's happening with properties out there, what's happening with prices. Um, I wanted to make a separate video about, um, you know, some sort of trends that I'm seeing. So a lot of people at the moment, you know, have gone stuff Melbourne, I don't want to be a part of a commune society, and they're relocating their lives to more, you know, sunnier locations, whether that be anywhere up the coast, um, or inland. So a lot of people are going for lifestyle. They're realizing that, you know, they've been sold a lie when it comes to, you know, 12 years of indoctrination camp to become a good tax slave and, uh, you know, working in a job where you go, you know, at 7 a.m. on a train, go to your job, sit at a desk, get up, leave, go back home, get home around seven o'clock, don't get to see the kids, get two days off on the weekend. It's not a lifestyle a lot of people are looking for and they're trying to find opportunities throughout, during this crisis to be able to, um, you know, have better lifestyle. And some people are sort of taking that plunge and, and moving into state, uh, finding a lot of activity happening in a lot of regional coastal towns. There's certainly been a lot of sleepy ones over the years where people, um, you know, there may have been a boom and then sort of fallen off. There's some really cool uh, locations, which, um, you know, I've been personally picking up. Uh, my investors have been picking up in these locations. Been picking up in some of these locations for years as well, like, you know, whether it be anywhere from Southeast Queensland all the way up, Sunshine Coast sort of area, but it goes and expands further beyond that where, you know, you can pick up some really, really awesome uh, properties, you know, brand new houses that are like sort of five years old for 250, 300 grand that are like one or two streets back from the water uh, in really cool coastal towns. You know, so there's a lot of people going for lifestyle um, and it's just a, a, a trend like, will we see, you know, the fall of, you know, all these inner city units that are, you know, congested in areas. Are we going to see, you know, a, a, an emergence of a new lifestyle where people are going to um, little hubs along coastal areas, having a bit of work-life balance, being able to you know, have a house where they've got a home office in them. You know, just interesting to see the sort of trends that are occurring out there uh, in, in the market. So uh, there are some very you know, interesting booms occurring. I'm not going to talk about those areas because they're sort of areas that I go into. The areas are, are very big in purchasing and I wouldn't want to create uh, an own monster by having people coming into those areas while I'm still picking up stuff on behalf of myself and my investors on the cheap. Um, so I'm not going to disclose those sort of locations. I'm not going to go into that too deep, into too much depth, but there is a bit of, you know, a sea change, a tree change. Um, speaking to a lot of um, you know, I pick up a lot of land holdings nowadays uh, for people, sort of land banking, sort of five acres, 10 acres, 20 acres, 100 acres, 500 acres, those sort of size blocks. Um, and dealing with the agents that I speak to on a day to day basis, um, they're all coming back to me saying that they are experiencing their unprecedented amounts of people that are, you know, wanting to have land and grow their own trees and not be dictated by a helicopter over their house or over the unit, should I say. Uh, surveillancing them not to leave the house like they're a prisoner. So yeah, there is a bit of a rise of the anarchists out there that want to um, be able to have liberty and freedom and you know choosing to have their own cattle and their own animals, their own farming and uh, being able to grow their own produce, produce as well. So you know that is an area to watch out for. What will happen there? Who knows? Um, it is interesting what I'm seeing at the moment is those areas are starting to, to boom. So basically anything under the, um, the the 300 grand mark, anywhere up and down the coast is, is being gone. Uh, a lot of the affordable sort of properties, um, you know, whether it's in a capital city or not, all the stuff under 300 grand is like a floor. Stuff that's been 150, 180 grand has got up to 250 grand. Um, and it's just interesting to see, you know, in these, sort of regional, sort of coastal and, and, and sort of um, large land farming sort of locations where people are moving there for a lifestyle. They're like, I don't want to be in a city. I don't want to be caught up in, you know, Corona, whether their belief system is that they're going to get sick or whether their belief system is that they want to have, you know, a lifestyle or whether their belief system is that they want to sort of take more personal approach of having their own food and whatnot. 
you know, there's, there's all these different reasons. So, yeah, uh, is this going to be a rise of, uh, of of these sort of markets? Time will tell. Common sense will prevail. Um, but yeah, if you guys want to chat more about your own personal strategy or how we can help you here, feel free to reach out to myself and my team. Admin at beinvested.com.au, 1300 Keep being awesome, guys. Catch up soon. Bye for now.